You are possessed. What have I done? What have I done to you? Welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're visiting the most mysterious place in all of FNAF lore, Juniors. Uh, so this is a FNAF fan game that I've seen a, a decent amount of hype uh, around in the lead up to its eventual release here. Um, and now it's it's available. It, it literally just dropped today, yesterday. I don't know. I don't, the time has no meaning. We also exist on the internet. So this video could be watched years from now. So maybe this video, you know, hey, Juniors just launched five years ago. I don't know. But anyway, I've seen a lot of talk about this this new FNAF fan game, Juniors, and I'm interested in checking it out. Uh, not be like I just like trying different FNAF fan games and we haven't done it one in a while, but more so because it taps into, I'm assuming, what is the most mysterious location in FNAF lore, which is uh, Juniors, right? So for those of you who don't remember, in FNAF 6, during the Midnight Motorist minigame, right? You kind of branch off the path of the minigame and you drive around and there is your purple car, presumably purple guy's car, is able to visit a parking lot. And out front of a building labeled Juniors is a, a, a bodyguard or a bouncer who says, hey, you know you're not allowed to come here anymore, get out of here, whatever. At which point then you, you're orange guy, you go back to your house, you're like, where's my son? And the window's broken, all that stuff. But no one has ever really known what Juniors is. Right, like I came up with some, they're, they're not my favorite uh, theories about like what they are. I'm like, at one point I'm like, oh, maybe it's the junior location of FNAF or maybe it's an earlier location or a smaller location. A lot of people, the most common theory around it is that it is a bar and that William Afton is is drinking and that he's not allowed to come back. He's, you know, oh, you got too sloppy or messy here, whatever, get out of here, you're not allowed to come back. Um, I don't know, honestly, to this day, if you were to ask me like, what is one thing that you, if I could ask Scott Cawthon to answer one thing about the franchise, I think that would, that would be up there. I'd, I'd have to really think about what that question would be, but that is always one that's persisted in my mind of like, what did you mean by that? Like, was it meant to be a bar? What's going on? I, actually, a lot of my questions would, would be about the FNAF 6 uh, Midnight Motors minigame, because there's also the random like pile of dirt in the middle of the forest that you find. A grave to something? Is it a reference to the Twisted Ones? We don't know. Like, of everything in FNAF lore, I think you could cobble together a rough timeline. You can cobble together rough answers. Might not be entirely true, but you can roughly get what was meant by a lot of key moments, key key beats. Uh, but Juniors and that pile of dirt in FNAF 6, Midnight Motorist, no one's really got a good solid explanation for a lot of that stuff, including myself. And and I've always meant to kind of go back and revisit all the lore around it to see if I could figure it out. But yeah, so anyway, the TLDR here is uh, Juniors, this new game that just came out um, five years ago, as you watch this in, in 2027. Uh, <laughs> that uh, just came out and I've heard good things about it. I've seen a lot of hype in the lead up for it. I'm excited for a new uh, FNAF fan game. So let's let's hop in. I think before we hop in, yeah. you have a little wimpy spring coming out of your head. Other side. Did I get it? There it is. It's, it's jump scaring. It's the jump scare. It's the jump scare hair. Jump scare hair. Jump scare hair. <laughs> yeah! Uh, how's it? Am I good? There, it's so thin now. You're good? Am I happy? It's, I showered. I mean and now my hair is bad. This is what happens. I shouldn't shower on Sundays. I don't think. Because then my hair is bad on Mondays. I don't think. I don't think it'll show up when we get to. Great, okay, great. Here, well, while we load up the game here, um, quick, quick note down in the comments. Let me know. Jacket, yay or nay? Um, I'm supposed to give notes on it. We were co considering something like this for future merch. I like the pattern. And here's my thoughts. Uh, I like the pattern. Don't really care for the epaulets up here. I don't really care for the flaps over the pockets that are down here. Uh, the color feels a little bit too dusty, but I like the pattern and I like the idea of doing, you know, more pinks and blues and stuff mixed in. It just feels like too faded, but if you made it too colorful, like if you cranked up the saturation, it would make it like too bright. I think you'd have to darken it. 
If you brought up the saturation. Yeah, like bring up saturation. I think it's crank up saturation, but darken on a whole, right? Because yeah. I, I like it. The back the back works better, I think. The front, and obviously we I don't love the, the green zipper. Like there's, uh, again, welcome to the world of me giving notes on merch. I want to do a jacket like this. I think this is really cool. I think the original concept was we wanted it to be a little bit um, shiny or a little bit um, holographic in some way, but it came back from the factory wrong, And but they, we still want to give notes on it. Because it's cool. It's a good idea. But yeah, I think it's a little bit too like dusty or a little bit too faded. Yeah. Up saturation, lower overall color, like darken it. And then I think you'll have something that's muted enough, but more colorful. Yeah, because right now it's giving like, I left this on the sidewalk in June. And yeah, right. In, like, and South and Carolina. Yeah, and it's been in the sun for a while. It, yeah. Right. It, yeah, it's there's something just off about like I again like when I pulled it out I'm like I like this I think I, I actually asked the guys I'm like let me sit on it for a couple of days because um, I couldn't articulate what it is about it and over the weekend I think I realized that that's what it is and you're exactly right so I think. Maybe we'll tweak the cuffs a little bit too. But anyway, long story short, keep an eye out for, for future merch. I want your opinions. Let me know down in the comments. I will read them. Absolutely. Because uh, I want you to be happy with the stuff that we design. And it's your chance to affect our merch stuff, which is cool. Uh, speaking of new merch, uh, backpacks and water bottles and playing cards right below. You know where to find it. Juniors! Junior. Uh, okay. Sorry. This is... <sighs> This is really small and very hard to read. Do you plan on recording streaming this game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you oh go. Gosh. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I can read it for you. This Matt. is actually I te I test the game. Okay. Note, Juniors uses Click Team Fusion's Firefly add-on, the third 3D portion of the game. Firefly is a very finicky software that has many issues with recording. The game tends to run into recording issues when you record using game capture. With OBS. So what are you doing? Are you using game capture with OBS or any other recording? I, I do be in OBS right now. Are you doing screen record? Are you recording your whole screen or game recording game capture? Are you, are you just flout? Are you just like flouting the advice of the juniors team right now? It's a video capture. Okay. You're capturing video, not game capture. Yes. Okay. So hopefully this works. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I understand. But does Ash understand is the true question. Well, if this this goes out, that's on me, y'all. <laughs> oh no! Okay, here we go. Oh man, we got we got all sorts of warnings here at the beginning here. All right. Following game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and jump scares, as you would expect. Uh, this may result in epileptic seizures. Okay, great. If you experience any of the following symptoms, symptomes while playing, dizziness, altered vision, twitching, and distortion, uh, disorientation, and exit the game. Following game may also contain sensitive imagery, scenes of explicit violence and gore. Imagery may offend some people. Discretion is encouraged. Oh no! Old Father Chica! Oh man, you got Foxy, Freddy, Bonnie, Balloon Boy, or JJ. And then, oh, Chica's on her, Chica's on her deathbed, it looks like. Old Grandma Chica, gonna die. Mm, this is a non-profit Five Minutes of Freddy's fan game. Okay, great, cool. You could read that, but not the red? Uh, yeah, because the red was like blended. It wasn't as high contrast as you would think. I this can't is, even read notes. This is a non-profit Five Minutes of Freddy's fan game created. It's just an eye test, we're great. It's based off of Scott Cawthon Five Minutes of Freddy's video game series. There we go, space. Spooky hands. I like that I talked about all this and I didn't call out the spooky hands. Juniors! JRs! Who knows what it is. This doesn't look like a bar. I, I will say! What, <laughs> whatever this is, it doesn't look like it's uh, a, a bar setting right now. So, uh, full screen, volume, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, screen, great. I already said don't erase saves because we haven't done anything. Perfect. Ooh, spooky Chica doll. Oh! Are her, oh, her eyes are ticking like a, one of the Felix the Cat clocks back there. That's cool. I love that. That's actually a great piece of merch. Scott Cawthon, you have done so much merch for your franchise. How have you not done a ticking Chica clock like that? Maybe he tried and then that's when the Mafia came in. That's right. Going back to my dream the other day. That's what it is. That's why he's being held for ransom in a uh, random, random airplane hangar in LA. Oh, I see an arm there. Oh, these are creepy. This this feels very reminiscent of the um, Freddy on the Road teasers that they were doing in the lead up to Security Breach. Ooh, I'm excited. This looks good. This looks great, actually. Very intrigued. Oh, I love fan games. 
We haven't gotten a good chance to, to play one for a while. Okay, well, before we begin, geez, even more, uh, let's go over the basics. Okay, finding who's possessed. Okay, check the security cameras. Classic. Uh, look for flickering lights or handprints on the camera lens. Okay. Mark the possessed character on the laptop. Looks like a Nintendo DSi. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's a laptop. Thank you very much. Cool. That makes sense. Let's try it. Let's try it. Every time you complete a task, the ghost haunting juniors will eventually find its way into a new animatronic suit. You must watch carefully for clues leading to which animatronic is haunted. Is this claymation? This is awesome. Like, this looks really good. I love the claymation aspect of this. Okay, I might... let's, let's try it. Is this loading? I mean, he flickered. Okay. <laughs> okay! The guy who flicked, I got it! He flicked! The one, you know, the one who is actively strobing out. That's the one. Okay, one last thing. Oh, geez. Keeping the robot safe. Check the animatronic stability from time to time. Call the animatronic to the conveyor belt for repairs, but make sure they're not haunted. Okay, so it's basically identify who's haunted and repair the ones as they get old. Make sure that they're not haunted when they get repaired. Okay. That makes... Ooh, hello. Cool. Oh, this, is, this is creepy. Whoa. Keanu Reeves. Uh, where am I? Am I dead? This feels so weird. I seem to be fine, but I feel empty. So, theory brain, it's a FNAF game, right? So theory brain's on overload. Um, that previous look, you had a bunch of things that looked like strings or wires coming up with kind of like red tips. I'm wondering if he is like inside an animatronic or his spirit is inside an animatronic or something. I see all this red stuff flying around, so that might be, might not be it, but my initial impulse was those were electrical wires that he's like waking up and suddenly he finds himself in amongst electrical wires. Maybe he's possessed in, in like an electronic suit. There's definitely a paranormal presence here, but this feeling is new to me. Can anyone hear me? Crunch. Crunch. Hey, I heard that. Show yourself. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm, I'm just a little lost. Please. Yeah, he's lost. He doesn't know where he is. He wakes up in a strange area. I think he might be dead. Protagonist is dead. Oh, he's in the field of reeds. With fun. T is this like a friend, Fred Bear? Whoa. I've never seen anything like you before. Psychic friend Fredbear through the field of reeds. Very, it's, it's mixing Egyptian lore. It's mixing together Five Nights at Freddy's lore. It's got everything you want. It's got dark screen. There we go. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. Hello, creepy. Oh, 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 oh I don't. I don't like that guy. Paul Cave. Paul Cave. Cool. I like the black and white. Oh, this thing just follows me. Whatever that background thing is, I don't like that at all. So we got our Sleepy. Huh, it's interesting. So it's not Hungry Chica. It's Sleepy Chica. You got our Freddy. I don't like turning my back on you. Oh, and these guys just follow me around. I, I was going to be like, oh, let me put my face up to them. But nope, it's, it's they just follow me around watching. So you got our core three. I'm noticing a distinct... L oh! <laughs> I feel like something might be amiss here, friends. The fact that there is a giant glowing brain in the sky leads me to believe that there might be more, more to this story than meets the eye. It's all happening in his head. It's a dream. It's... We're dead. Insert lore here. I like that the puppet's popping out saying boo. That's cute. Hello? Oh. Golly! I wasn't expecting you to show up. I'm Paul Bear. Hello, Paul Bear. Can I, can I talk to you? Oh. Good. Oh! You're in the Barrens. A limbo between life and death! Boom! <laughs> Nailed it! 
Slow down there, little buddy. I said limbo between life and death. You aren't dead at all. Okay, that was close. It means you can go back to the real world whenever you want. Yeah, not so fast. I brought you here to help me with some unfinished business I have in the real world. Fortunately, I'm not alive like you. I've been trapped in here for as long as I can remember. I've been waiting to cross paths with someone like you. Someone that could help me move on to the afterlife. I'll even make it yet an offer. It helped me with my unfinished business, and I'll lend a helping hand with your investigation. I know Junior's like the back of my hand. Go over to the bed. I'll transport you back to the real world. Meet back here tomorrow night. Yeah, you know, just, just meet back here in this, like, subliminal space between life and death. Take a, take a right turn at the Chipotle on the corner. You're there. I, I, what, if, what if I just want to wake up? and don't need help with my investigation and all that. What is this? This is terrifying me. I hate this. Oh, I, I, I guess... Oh, jeez. Whoa! This looks so good! Use the cameras to search for the haunted animatronics. Look for hints such as handprints or flickering lights. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wait, I want to... Lights flickering could be caused by faulty wiring. Look closely for sudden movements, weird movements. Le oh. The ghost has entered a new animatronic. Okay, leaving this here for whatever investigators next. This looks haunted. This thing, elephant, is that an elephant? Yeah, I, I, okay, mark it in the laptop. Mark it in the laptop. Mark it in my laptop. In my laptop. In my laptop. In my laptop, <laughs> which is where? Wait, okay, hi. Okay. Oh, I have to get into this. Okay, I have to hold it down a little bit longer, I guess. Use the Faz tablet to switch the current camera. Use the speaker icon to hear where the marionette is located in the building. Okay. Yeah, that guy. That guy's definitely possessed. For sure. Oh, he's also possessed, it would seem. Okay, so the marionette seems to be in the kitchen then? Okay. So how do I mark someone? Like, I know that both Chica looked like and Elephant. Right, that's an is that an elephant? Am I am I crazy? Looks like an elephant to me. <laughs> yeah, this guy this guy isn't moving, so it must just be elephant. So how do I mark it in my tablet? Okay, switch, okay, I've switched cameras. So now I would like to mark mark it somewhere. Where where oh oh wow you get a lot of range of movement with these cameras by the way. I'm actually really impressed with the amount that you can actually look around. It's pretty well. Whoa, hey! You you moved. Foxy? I mean, the visuals are great. Really, really scary. This is really disturbing. So now... Do I touch the... Nope. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Okay, here. Nope, I would like to get over here. So, there it is, okay. So the clicking is in, you just need to find different parts of the screen to click, okay. Uh, use the call buttons to call animatronics for repairs to the conveyor. Use the character selector to the bottom to mark who's haunted. Hey bud, for tonight, let's look for flickering lights on the camera system. Okay. Okay, animatronic stability. Oh, geez, who do we have? Okay, so we've got Marionette, Balloon Boy. I'm assuming this is Foxy, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. So he's... How do I mark him as possessed? You are possessed. What have I done? What have I done to you? Oh! 
Ah, the marionette was haunted. What? Not not the teleporting foxy? That was hmm. Still still need to figure stuff out here. Marionette was haunted. Tune into the camera audio to locate where the marionette's in the building. Sure. But what about the the teleporting marionette? Or sorry, the teleporting fo right? Am I am I Ash? Was I was I completely wrong there? I mean, clearly I was wrong, but like was I wrong that the, one minute there was a foxy, the next minute there was not a foxy? Yeah, no, that that definitely happened. But maybe maybe possessed is something different than what we're thinking. Yeah, possess. <laughs> you know, animatronics teleport all the time. It's possession that we're looking for. Good, good to know. Yeah. All right, round numero dos. Let's see what we got. Maybe. There we go. Just. <laughs> Hop around the general vicinity of the bed. We're totally fine with this. All right, let's try this again, shall we? We have a slightly better idea of how to control things. Slightly. All right. So we're looking for not movement. So that is the fact that he just like teleported away. Totally fine. We're all safe. Yeah, the fact that he is flashing in and out of existence within the same room and we're seeing no movement. Totally fine. Perfectly normal behavior for these animatronics. Okay, a ghost has entered. That's what they do without ghosts. So now we just need to find... Again, it's flashing lights. So we're looking for flashing lights on night one. Okay. So who is our dear friend with the flashing lights? Okay, we hear a marionette. I'm hearing, but there's no flashing lights associated with that. So we're good there. <laughs> what qualifies as a flashing light? That's my question. Oh, the stuff is flashing now with scary gorilla man in there. Who is that supposed to be? Oh, Bonnie and Chica. So it's, it's, a, it's a three for one deal. Presumably one of these three is causing the lights to flash. Now it's one of these two. Okay, by process of elimination, it's not Chica because Chica left and the lights are still flashing. Okay, the lights are no longer flashing. So that tells me Bonnie's the one who was possessed, right? Okay, here's Bonnie. Nope, lights aren't flashing with him. Hmm. Okay, lights are flashing. And that's Freddy? Okay, lights are flashing with Freddy. So, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna say it's Freddy. Okay, we're, oh, this is conveyor belt controls. Okay, animatronic stability. Freddy is the one who is possessed, right? Use the call button to the animatronics for repairs to the conveyor. Use the character selector on the bottom to mark who's haunted. Freddy is Freddy. He's haunted. Yes, good job! So that was one of two. Hey bud, okay, look for, yeah, look for flashing lights. Okay, so we found one of two that's possessed. Cool, <laughs> that was a cool sound effect. Is there any reason to not have the audio constantly rolling? Okay. Foxy seems to be cool. Nothing seems to be going on there. Marionette's in this room and we're not getting flashing. Bonnie was there. And it seemed like there was flashing going on. Where is Bonnie? I, I suspect it's Bonnie. That's my guess. Because Foxy seems cool. Marionette seems cool. Oh. Chica? Oh. Elephant? <laughs> is that a, Seriously, what? Is <laughs> I'm gonna feel so dumb rewatching this and not knowing what that animatronic is. You 
It must be Bonnie, right? It's gotta be. I think we make the call. I think we make the call. I think we're making this call. Everyone else seems normal now. So I think we're going animatronic stability. That's Bonnie. Everyone's at 48, so it's not Chica, it's not Marionette. There's a balloon boy! Hmm. That's fair. I haven't seen him at all. Yeah! <laughs> cool, okay. So we understand this. Investigation complete. This is cool. It's a very different concept because it's, it, you know, usually with FNAF games, it's a lot about like plate spinning, making sure everything is good, you're keeping track of everyone. This is very much like methodical process of elimination. Again, like they said, your investigation's complete. It's very, I, I feel like I'm trying to put together a mystery of sorts. It's cool. It's, it's different. From a, from an aesthetic standpoint, it's, it's great. Visually, it's awesome. Um, true to form with any FNAF game, it's a bit of a bummer that you're spending all your time in a small camera frame with like night vision goggles attached to your face. So it's all just like shades of green. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, you know, because you have this beautiful office, like the office is gorgeous. Uh, so that's a bit of a shame, but otherwise, all right, who's Paul Bear? Smell a theory. Psychic friend Fred Bear. Paul Bear. Maybe it's like Paul Bearer. Someone who bears the Pauls during a, a funeral. You're looking at me like that's a crazy thing to say. What? You, get out of here. Do you not know what a Paul Bearer is? No. Okay, Paul Bearer. I'm, I'm, let me make sure I'm right on this. Yeah, Paul Bearer. The person who helps carry the coffin at a funeral. Yeah. So maybe Paul Bear is a Paul Bearer carrying our, our way into the funeral. But why is it called a Paul Bear? Or... It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pun. It's, it's like, it sounds the same. It's a homonym. Homophone? Homophone. Where they sound the same. Paul? Paul Bear. Paul Bearer. No, like, why is Oh, it you're asking why it's, oh, why is the actual thing called? Yeah. It's P-A-L-L. Not Paul, oh. as in like, hey, I'm Paul. Yo, it's me, Paul. You call me Paulie. I was on the Jersey Shore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to literally everyone on the Eastern Seaboard for that one. No, I don't think you should. I think that was great. <laughs> I think you should do it more, actually. No, please, no. That was, I think that would be a bad idea. But uh, I don't know. What are Pauls? Okay, real quick, but in, in between. Let's, let's look this up real fast. Um... What is a Paul? Like Paul. The cloth spread over the coffin, hearse, or tomb. Yeah, so you're spreading the cloth or a dark cloud covering smoke, etc. So, yeah. So the Paul, they're bearing, they're carrying forth the Paul, which is the cloth over the coffin. There you go. Oh, so Paul is blanket. Correct. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yes. Paul's blanket. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to put the Paul is dead theory to shame. Yeah, Paul isn't dead. Paul is blank. <laughs> Paul is blanket. Yeah. Paul is snuggly. <laughs> you get this clue by playing Hard Day's Night backwards. Whoa! Oh, man. Now, see, now you're breaking into the Beatles, Beatles conspiracies? Yeah. Get out of here. You're crazy. All right, let's do this. Let's check out. Did any, has anything changed here? Nope. Giant brain still in the sky. Perfectly normal, as you do. It's interesting that the three are here. There's, there's no presence of Foxy. That's pretty suspicious. See, there's also Paul Cave. So again, if this is Paul Bear, oh, I guess this is like his cave then. So maybe, maybe that's not as much of a clue as I was hoping. I'm like, oh, Paul Cave! But no, it's this is just entering his cave maybe. You came back. So how'd your first night go? It was, it was all right, actually. As I suspected, the same ghost has been haunting juniors for years, playing the same old tricks. <laughs> All right, fine, you caught me, I lied. Any ghost can go back to the real world, but I'm such a nervous wreck, I, I can't go back. I've been hiding in this costume for so long. A little bit, yes. That's, that's kind of why I need you. I'm tired. I'm tired of being afraid of her. 
She won't let me leave with my soul intact. She'd rip me to itty bitty bits if she knew I was hiding out in here with you. But now that you're here, you can help me by getting rid of the ghost once and for all. No, 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 you're right. Let's talk more tomorrow night. Now, let, now let's, I feel like there's important things that we need to kind of like unpack here, Paul Bear. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like there is plenty for us to discuss right now that, you know, will help us understand. This is like in those movies where they're having an important conversation, they cut away for arbitrary reasons, just for dramatic effect, when had they continued for like two or three more sentences, the entire rest of the movie would have been solved. You know, like, hey, we're having a deep, heartfelt conversation about really the main conflict that's coming up. So let's continue. Oh, nope. Next scene. Matt, you did theater. You know that in order to have a play or a screenplay, no one's good at talking. <laughs> so sometimes they are. Sometimes they're too good at talking. Like, sometimes they unburn themselves too much and that itself causes the conflict. Um, maybe the, cri the right word is communicating. Yeah, right. Communication is key. I, I feel like we all just talk. But are we really communicating? Yeah. That's the problem. All this talking, but no speaking. Yeah, no, and certainly no listening. No. Here's Paul Bear, bearing his soul, bearing his pauls, <laughs> bearing his pullness. I, I, there's a lot of questions with Paul Bear. Like, he's like, I'm hiding in here. What, in my brain cave? In my head? Is he physically in my head right now? Are you possessing my body? I feel like this guy might be possessing my body because he's in my limbo space. I love his stance. This? Yeah, it's really great, great. <laughs> he's like, it's like, it's like he's trying to go for his pockets, but he has no pockets because he's a bear yeah. and he has no pants. But he has a tie. So, you know, he's got his essentials. No paws left to bear. No, no pockets left to contain. If this was truly in my head, I, I, I wish, I would hope that like if I looked off into the distance, you saw like the inside of my eye sockets or something. <laughs> Instead of like weird ghostly figures in the background that are probably like ghosts haunting me. Instead, it's uh, you know, classic eye socket. Let's go to bed, shall we? Also interesting, the fact that we go to bed in order to wake up the next morning in, I don't know, there, there's a lot of symbolism here. I'm curious where it's all headed. I'm excited to find out what we have to do with that door. Okay, use the cameras to search for the haunted animatronics, look for handprints or flickering lights. Okay, we're gonna probably end up looking for handprints, I'm assuming tonight. Let's do our messages. Okay, no mess. Apparently, no messages tonight. So let's. Wow, the night is young, and so are we. Oh, the ghosts have entered the animatronic. Okay. Let's let's pump that music. Pump up those sweet jams. Oh. Flash for a second, but Bonnie seems pretty stable. Yeah, Bonnie seems pretty stable. I would say Bonnie is stable. Uh, Foxy. Nothing has changed now that Foxy's here, so Bonnie and Foxy seem stable. Uh, is that Freddy? Yeah, Freddy. Bonnie, Foxy, Freddy are all in here, so they all seem stable. Foxy's still stable. So now we just need to confirm Marionette and Chica. Hmm. Hello. Unless Balloon Boy's somewhere in here? Where are they? Is any Chica's just nowhere to be found. Seriously, Chica. I have a feeling you are possessed, Chica. Yeah, Bonnie's fine. Anyone? Anyone? Oh, there's Chica. Nope. Oh, Chica. I had you for a second. Foxy. Also, Marionette's like nowhere. This is a huge room, by the way. This this room is just massive. You gotta search everywhere for, in this room. I'm concerned that I'm not seeing anyone and that relatively no one is, seems possessed right now. See, Chica's in the room though, and it's not freaking out. Hmm. I'm concerned about this. 
Was I supposed to see haunted handprints, maybe? Oh, hey, bud. Watch out for flickering lights. Oh, okay. How are we doing stability-wise? Um, here's the thing. I feel good about... Can I call him? What, what did that do? Did that help someone? Oh, okay. Cool. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this and learn what happens because I'm curious. Is this him being replenished with health? Is this, are you over here now? Oh, hello, whoa, oh, hey. Oh, throw out the broken animatronic chip into the Freddy Fazbin on your right, then replace it with a new chip from the box on your left. So this is a broken chip. This is a new chip. So is, okay, so as we're learning, again, I'm, I'm gonna probably lose this night and that's fine. But now his stability should be high. Oh, weird. So this is gonna get complicated once you have to start doing like animatronic stability stuff. So we do know that we are right in saying that he was not the one who was possessed, so that's good. Uh, also not possessed, great. Here's Chica, Chica's not causing anything to flash either though. Like, should I be seeing handprints? <laughs> I don't love this. I'm also running out of time. Everyone seems stable. Are we sure people are possessed this night? Because to me, they're all doing pretty cool. <laughs> all right. Hello. Just gonna repair everyone, I guess. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like the night that we repair everyone. Either that or Chica's gonna jump scare me right now. Do they get more possessed as the night goes on? It seems like you have the entire night to solve the problem. Chica was haunted, huh? I I wasn't getting that. It's it's weird. Like I, I felt like we were being pretty thorough there, and I wasn't getting the sense that anyone was haunted. It was which obviously felt wrong, but I didn't feel confident enough to say, like, oh yeah, this person's haunted. Who effective jump scare. <laughs> Although I will say, Chica in like lab coat. It's pretty funny. <gasps> Alright, let's try it again. Night two. Chica! Lab coat, lab coat, chica. Okay, how's everyone's stability doing? Okay, so everyone's at 98, so that's good to know. So we start the night with everyone pretty stable. Um, okay, here I am in a room full of animatronics. Neither of them seem to really be doing much. Okay, now a ghost has entered a new animatronic. It's kind of like a prop hunter hide and seek. Okay, Foxy's clean. Foxy's the only one in this room. Foxy's clean. We're not getting any any haunting stuff going on over here. So Foxy seems good. Here in the marionette. The marionette seemed okay. I didn't see any like glitching or anything there. Okay, marionettes in here. Is this a handprint? This is spooky handprint. This is spooky. No. <laughs> I need to understand what these handprints are.
That's a handprint. Okay, here's a handprint. I see it. Right there. So who's in the room right now with me? Who's in the room? So Freddy came and the handprint disappeared. What's that tell me? That it's not Freddy? Okay, Chica, because there's a handprint, right? Maybe, I think that's a handprint. Okay, Chica's definitely possessed. Chica's definitely possessed. Foxy is definitely not. Okay, so we're going to go down here. We're going to say Chica's possessed. Nope. Clearly, I'm un misunderstanding. <laughs> Clearly, the handprint mechanic is evading me right now. But at least we saw it. Okay, we saw handprints. Yeah, thank you. I tune in where the yeah, yeah, okay, great. Marionette's a tricky one. <laughs> Shoot. Let's try it again. Alright. Let's get a sense where everyone is. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna start back here. Okay, and animatronic is now haunted. Great. The ghost has entered the playing field. No one here. Okay, we got a bunch of people in here. Bunch of people in this room. Ghostly handprint. See it right there? Ghostly handprint is still here with Chica and Freddy. Chica, Chica's bringing the ghostly handprint, it feels like. Here, I'm gonna watch this until Chica disappears. Ah, the handprint's still there though. So it's, is it Foxy? Is it gonna disappear with Foxy? Why the handprint is just hanging out? I don't know what that means. What's that tell me? Yep, handprint is still hanging out hardcore with Foxy. I mean, there's no one in here now. So is it with Foxy? Foxy keeps popping in and out of this room. There's no marionette. Unless that's Freddy in the background. I can't make out who that is. But the handprint continues to remain with whoever that is in the background. And no one else. Do you, do you know who that is, Ash? Can you tell who that is? Like, but now they're not in the background anymore. And... I mean, okay. The handprint mechanic. It's a tricky one. Here's Freddy. Not seeing any glitching. I'm not seeing any handprint with Freddy in the room. Solo. This is solo Freddy room. And I'm not seeing a handprint. So it seems to indicate that Freddy is not the culprit. Okay, Marionette seems to be definitely haunted. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. How's everyone's stability? Okay, if we solve this fast, we'll be okay. Last time I did this, it was like, you did it, congratulations. It was for... Look for Philip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand smudge. I know. Again, I'm looking for the hand smudge. There was a. So our hand smudges. With leftover when they leave the room. 
right? Because you saw, am I going crazy, Ash? Like you're watching this, what am I doing wrong? No, I, I'm watching you, I have like three different videos of people playing this to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> right, so the flickering light was obvious, right? Like they're in the room, the lights are flickering, that makes sense. The hand smudge seems like it's tied to, it was like the room that they were just in. Because we saw Freddy alone in the room and there were no hand smudges as far as I can tell, unless I'm missing it, right? But it looked like it was a pretty clean camera angle and there was nothing cover obstructing the lens. So I'm assuming that the handprint must be left over from the place that the person le last was, maybe. We're also learning that in the main room, Freddy is in the very background, which is good to know because I couldn't make out who that animatronic is back there. All right, let's try it again. And once we figure this out, I think we have like, it's gonna be really good. It's just, we gotta figure out what it, what it is right now. That's the big issue. Is there something about the handprint that we just don't understand yet? And I think it is like this residue. Okay, ghost has entered a new animatronic. We have Foxy and Bonnie. Freddy. It's, it's hard to tell. Like, I will say that's one thing. I wish, because they show you the animatronic endoskeleton or like kind of like the, the body parts. And I will say, I wish there was a little bit easier way to differentiate who's who, because Freddy doesn't always look like, like they don't always look the same in different ones. And part of that's me just learning how they look in the different camera angles. Okay, handprint. Handprint. And Chica's here. So Chica has entered the room and there's a handprint, which seems to indicate that Chica is possessed. And the handprint remains. So what's it take for the handprint to go away? If it flashes one more time, the handprint goes away and Chica does not appear. I'm assuming it's one frame before, one frame during, one frame after that the handprint is there. But, but now, but also the marionette's here. But Chica came first before the marionette. I, I've got to say that Chica's possessed, because... It's, it's gonna be no. What?! Also, Balloon Boy looks... He looks solemn. He, he looks he looks like uh, Michael Mike Myers from uh, Halloween there. <laughs> no, he totally does. Check Balloon Boy's stability. It glitches from time to time. Balloon Boy was hot. <sighs> so it looks like there's different ways to tell if different animatronics are haunted. Okay. If that's the case. So his, his stability glitch. We haven't even seen Balloon Boy. Like, what does Balloon Boy even look like? Like, that's the first time that he's even been a contender. So, I didn't, based on the way the game's been going, like, I didn't even know that I was supposed to be looking for him. Okay, marionettes in this room. Okay, so marionettes seems clean. Right, because there's nothing weird going on in this room and the marionette is very clearly in it. So I'm just gonna eliminate the marionette from consideration. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Animatronic stability, call marionette. There you go. Okay, now, everyone's hanging out in this room. Seeing no handprints and, oh, wait, Foxy. Foxy is in the room and I see a handprint. So Foxy, unless there's balloon boys sneaking around, being a sneaky sneak. Foxy is possessed. Right, there's a handprint and Foxy in the room. What is the handprint thing? It 
it has to be like a, a residue thing. Re retrace hand smudges to the haunted... Retrace hand smudges. So it does seem like it is left behind. And then she goes <coughs> to another place. <coughs> right, so retrace. This tip, retrace hand smudges, tells me that they leave it behind. So Foxy was in the room, but he was not it because the handprint perpetrator had left it behind. Okay. Okay. So you you need to know if lights are flickering, they're in the room. If they leave the room and a handprint appears, they left the handprint. And then Balloon Boy is just obnoxious <laughs> because it's Balloon Boy. <laughs> Okay, if we could get through night two, this would be great. I, I would love, I would love to move forward with this. It's worse that the jump scares are so scary. <laughs> so I don't like them. They're all freaky looking. <laughs> Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> no, but they're all so freaky looking, like more often than usual. Yeah, I mean, this game has more grotesque designs, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Except Balloon Boy is kind of funny. I'm telling it looks like Michael Myers. <laughs> so. Okay. Foxy and Marinette Marionette are here. Marionette's still here. Foxy left. Foxy's safe. Presumably. Marionette has also left, and there are no hand smudges. So I would say both of them are safe. Foxy is definitely safe. Okay, I'm gonna call Foxy just to knock him out. And be like, it was Foxy! And it's like, no, it wasn't! It wasn't Foxy! Come on! Okay, Bonnie's here. Is Bonnie gonna leave a hand smudge? And there's no one else. Okay, Bonnie did not leave a hand smudge. <laughs> Here's a hand smudge. So who was last here? Who? Who was last there? <laughs> okay, here's Freddy. He's alone. Freddy alone. Uh, is that a hand smudge? No. It's just a weird wall, right? Oh, wait, there's a hand smudge. Right there. Teeny, it's a teeny hand smudge. Oh, yeah. So that presumably would be Freddy. Right? <laughs> Chica was there? I think it's Freddy. I think it's Freddy. It's gotta be Freddy. Oh wait, he's glitching. So what do I got? Do I gotta call him and fix him? No, I was wrong. So was his? Whoa. Remember how it said look for him glitching? That might also be the stability level. So if he does that, then Balloon Boy could be haunted. Check Balloon Boy stability glitches. Does that, so this isn't telling me that like, hey, hey, pro tip. Can the pro tip say, hey, if Balloon Boy is glitching, he is, th therefore he is haunted? Cause I called him. Cause I'm like, oh, he needs to be repaired. Check Balloon Boy stability, it glitches from time to time. Sure. None of this answers the core question though. So, so I guess it wasn't Freddy. Is Balloon Boy visible in the cameras? I would never see him. I don't know. We haven't seen or at least spotted Balloon Boy. I mean, I will say, and I did notice this when we were looking at the camera that time, that it was a smaller handprint. So maybe Balloon Boy leaves a small handprint. Oh, because he's a little tiny a, a dude. A teeny handprint. A little boy boy handprint. Look at me, I'm Balloon Boy. Woo, let me smudge the camera. Also, can I just say, all of this bothers me because uh, I, uh, smudging the camera is, is unforgivable. It's stressing me out. True. Like, the gameplay no longer is stressing me out. The amount of smudging that is happening on camera lenses, terrible. Because you got to use your specialty cloth. I hope you have your microfibers ready. I hope you have your microfibers. 
you know, you're getting dust on there. You got to use your little dust puffer, you know, do a nice clean wipe. Treat your lenses with respect, animatronics. I don't care what you do to mutilating me as night security guard or whatever the heck weird role I am in the lore of this game. No. Treat the camera lenses with respect. Do they have finger oils? Uh, but clearly they do. They're, they're smudging it up a storm. Either that or protoplasm. Like, Sorry, ectoplasm. Forgive me. They look like human hands and that stresses me out. Maybe the ghost has finger oils. Right? And, and I hope they're moisturizing. Clearly they're they're not expressing proper uh, skin care. Terrible. Across the board. This is, this is disturbing on so many levels. I'm telling you, once we figure out how to play the game, the game is going to be fun. Once we figure out how to play it. I like that all of the gameplay right now is us just like trying to eke out and, and kind of piece together what the game actually wants us to do. So Balloon Boy sometimes glitches. That doesn't necessarily indicate anything for us though. Okay, so we got Freddy, Foxy, in the room. They both left, neither left a hand smudge. Did they leave a hand smudge? What is this on the, is that a hand smudge? Is that a hand smudge? I can't tell. Shoot. I was hoping that I would know. Okay, Freddy's here. He's solo. Freddy is solo. Now Freddy is gone. I see... You're not seeing a hand smudge, right? No, I'm not. Right? I'm I think not. in this game you really have to use up, like, all of the night. To find it. Yeah. Because even the tutorial was like, be patient, little, little dude. I know, but there are going to be times where, like, you, you've, by process of elimination, you presumably have solved it. Ooh, I don't like that. What? Did you see the camera glitch? I did. But that could also just be the case. Like, at no point are they like, watch out for camera glitches. You could check stability levels. I could. I mean, I could. They all do okay. I like that Fredbear still like, watch for the flickering lights. Wait, this is smudgy. Yeah. That's very smudged. S maximally smudged right now. But we didn't see who left the room, so we don't know. Fred. So Fred's in here. Marionette's in here. And Fred's back. Fred, are you leaving? Fred, are you, are you leaving the smudges? Who's, who's, who's messing up my camera lens? Where else does Fred teleport to? Welcome to slowly and patiently analyzing security cameras. Oh, whoa, that's a heavy hand smudge right there. Ooh, double smudge. We got a double smudge. So you got a big hand and a small hand. Small hand might be Balloon Boy, right? As we've previously established, small hand may be Balloon Boy. Fred also goes through here. So Freddy goes through two of the rooms with hand smudges. Freddy is haunted. There is some part of the assignment that we are not understanding. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Call non-haunted characters on the... Okay. Clearly, we are... Like, we could just title this video, Gameplay Goes Whoosh Over Matt Pat's Head. R slash whoosh. R slash whoosh, man. What am I missing? I, I don't think I can ever come up with a time 
on GT Live playing a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game where I have not understood the mechanics this badly. Like, so, you know, any FNAF fan game is always going to have an element of like, figure it out and, and you know, understand what the different animatronics do on different nights and this and that, or like, what are, what are the like techniques for stopping them? But man, if I am so befuddled by the fact that like, I, I mean, maybe if I had waited longer, I would have seen Bonnie appear in those rooms. But so there, I guess my my suspicion was that it was going to be Freddy and Balloon Boy because you had a small hand and then you had the big. Like I'm wondering if small hand is Balloon Boy, and big hand, you know, is one of the main animatronics, and you just got to follow where all the smudges are and who appears in all those rooms, I guess? I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna do it one more time and then we're gonna cut and then I'm just gonna learn off screen and we'll come back and play again and I'll be amazing at the game. Maybe. <laughs> I, I'm, tr I'm trying, like it's, clearly there's an element that I'm missing. Also, So this is Freddy, right? It's not Elephant Guy, it's Freddy. Who's in the back? Oh, that's Bonnie, because I saw the guitar. And here's Chica. Okay. So the ghosts are in here now. Ghosts are here. Chica left, I see no hand smudge. Foxy's here. Foxy and Chica are here. And Freddy, okay, great. Freddy left, no hand smudge. <laughs> oh wait, is that a hand smudge? Is that a hand smudge down there? Like, it looks kind of like, it looks kind of like skeleton fingers. Do you see it? I do. So, oh wait, and here's definite big hand smudge. Okay, big hand smudge. I'm so sorry. Please take a drink every time I say the word smudge or hand smudge. <laughs> Because <laughs> you will die. <laughs> Take a sip of water. Yeah, you will hydrate, hydrate bot. Take a sip of water every time I say hand smudge because you, you'll have like at this point urinated no less than six times. Bonnie left. I see no smudge. <laughs> Except for this thing that seems to be persistent on the screen. Here's the thing, I'm watching, um, I'm watching, like, playthroughs of this. Yeah. And I don't understand their logic at all, but goodness, I'm trying. Really? Yeah. Okay, here's a hand smudge. Here's Foxy in this room. This is a definite smudge. This is a definite smudge room. Smudge room. <laughs> You've heard of mud rooms, now try smudge rooms. So it's, Foxy goes in this room. Freddy goes in this room. Anyone else go in this room? Foxy and Freddy both go in this room. Okay, let's let's have one other person pop in. I would just love to figure out one animatronic correctly on night two. I, I don't even need to beat the night at this point. I just want, like, please, someone validate me to some extent. Marionette seems safe, but, you know. No one else is coming in and out of this room, so that's great. You know, on future nights, you have to figure out m multiple haunted animatronics. Oh, I, well, the, the night one had multiple, too. Remember we had two that were haunted? It's fine. Yay. Okay, Marionette's in this room now, too. All right, great. Oh, jeez, I don't know, man. Like, by process of elimination, I liked night one. Night one was great. <laughs> night two! I did night two, man. They really ramped it up, didn't they? <laughs> oh, okay. Freddy. 
this in here and left and did not leave a smudge. So, you know, what does that tell us, friends? Does that tell us anything? Do we get any clues whatsoever? Ooh. This Okay, there's Chica. So really everyone and their mother comes through this room. This room is the village bicycle. Everyone has been in it. Oh, come on. Marionette was in it for a while. Foxy. Foxy has... <sighs> I don't know, man. He didn't refresh his hand smudge if he had a hand smudge. <laughs> like, it was still kind of faded. Here's Marionette and here's Freddy. I need to, I need to make a call. I need to make a call. Here's Foxy. Foxy's gone. He didn't leave anything. Here's Marionette. Marionette didn't leave anything. So, is it Chica then? I don't know, I gotta make the call because the night's almost done and I'm sure stability is like garbage at this point because I'm just, yeah, everyone's stability is gonna be garbage. Oh, that's nice that the game took pity on me. Uh, <laughs> is it Chica? There's three. <laughs> There's three of them. There's three of them. Okay, well, we gotta make the call because the night's almost done. So I'm gonna make the call. Foxy, what's my second choice? No. I said Chica! I know! I said Chica was haunted! I. I, I I didn't disagree with you. No, I, I know, the game did. The game, the game, I, it's like, I identified Chica and they're like, no, it was Chica, I, no. I think it was, I thought it was Chica, Foxy, and Marionette. Like, when they said there were three. Ash, I had a 50-50 shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had a 50 you, 50 shot! You were saying Chica. I don't know why you didn't follow your gut. No, I said Chica, but then I had two more that I had to do. Yeah. So I got, they, I filled it out and it said, you were right. Chica was right. Oh, wait. Chica twice? I guess. Does the ghost leave and re enter? I, I, that must, I, I guess that's what it is. I guess you have to, and again, again, figuring out the gameplay here. I think what happens is you gotta find the ghost as it hops between three different times. But the night was already at, I was like, I'm assuming the night's end at six minutes and I was at 545. Oh. So yeah, so that just told us, unless we're completely misinterpreting everything that we saw, which could very possibly be, that tells us that the animatronic, like just because you identify someone as being haunted at one point in the night, the, go the ghost can hop back into that same animatronic again that same night. I guess. Fusion Z Gamer really got this in like 30 minutes. I mean, it probably edited out an hour of this. Let's be fair. <laughs> Let's be, we show you the warts and all, Although we probably edited out at least two of the, for the sake of your sanity, we have probably edited out two of the, the rounds where we failed. Because we failed a lot, let me tell you. We have failed, there's been just a heaping amount of failure in today's episode of GT Live. Just so much failure. So we might edit out like two rounds of, of failed attempts here. But man, and I, okay, here's the plan. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say this game beats me. Yeah, no, I agree. Absolutely not. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do what Ash is doing now. In my free time, I'm gonna go and I'm going to read up or watch other gameplay or just like figure out what they're seeing that we are not seeing. But I think we're onto something. Yeah. I think... I would be referencing like a wiki, but this game is it's, too it's, new. It's new, yeah, it's brand new. Man, is this why we're not timely? <laughs> Usually. Maybe. Maybe this is what it is. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> wow. 
This is this this one has stymied me, friends. I feel stymied. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, hey, or by the time this goes up, because this is going up what Wednesday. So a couple tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wednesday. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So this one's going up Wednesday. So maybe by Wednesday, the game will have been out for over 48 hours. So maybe the Internet will have beaten it, found all the Easter eggs, ripped open the game files and has uh, decoded all the secret lore. And then so, they'll roast us in the comments. Oh, they will absolutely. Ro- oh, be prepared. Stick a stick a spit through me and throw me atop of the, the rotisserie, friends, because I'm going to get roasted in the comments for this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm prepared. For, I know. I know. Because clearly, <laughs> like, I, I swear I'm not a bad gamer, <laughs> but man, I don't know. I think this one, we got to go offline and figure out a little bit and just play around with it. Because this one is just escaping me to nobody's business. So anyway, I uh, hang my head in shame. I await your uh, fervent roasting. Uh, extra, extra crispy mesquite, whatever it is, in the comments below. And I'll be back for more. Hopefully that's better. <laughs> brutal. Brutal. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next upload. I need, I need a stiff drink of Diet Coke. Ah, it's too early in the morning. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And also, it wasn't live stream. It wasn't video. Video for you. Bye. <laughs>